junker vintage hunter and welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is misty and i am a reseller on ebay poshmark mercari and etsy and i also own an antique store here in bedford indiana well over the weekend we went into another local antique mall white river antiques and i'll go ahead and link a picture of their shop right there definitely go in and check them out they have a huge wide variety of things the prices are great you can get some root beer and cream soda that is fresh brewed from salt creek brewery here also locally in bedford indiana it's a good time well, i want to go ahead and show you some of the things that we bought we bought a few smalls but we bought a big piece of furniture as well and i'll go ahead and i'll insert a photo of the piece of furniture that we got right there it's a big, beautiful oak buffet that we are going to use in our shop to use as a display piece. Now, we're going to put a price tag on it, but we really need furniture. So mission accomplished getting a beautiful piece of furniture for display that we're going to pick up when we get back from vacation and put it in our store. But I did pick up a few other things. There was a booth in there that had 50% off. So we were able to snag that piece of furniture for 50% off which is a great deal. Also, I picked up a few small things that I'm going to keep. Well, one thing is a resale item and the other two things I'm keeping for myself. And you'll see in the footage, all of the things that they have there, they have all kinds of fun things to look at. So I highly recommend that you stop in there and then come on over to Wildflower Antiques and see what we have too. So let me show you a couple things that I got. I did get this cute little scotch tape 10. This had a piece of, ironically, scotch tape over it and it was an old piece of tape. I tried taking it off without taking the paint off the front of it and I was not successful. So unfortunately, this is what it looks like now, but that's okay. I like to display these in my home around Christmas time. I have several. They look really neat in a um, a green Hager pottery tin or a wooden um, toolbox. It's just kind of a festive piece of vintage. And I really like these scotch containers. So I got this for myself. I believe I paid, I, it, they, she had it $6.95 and I, and I got it for 50% off. So I got that. I also picked up, this is something that I have seen before. I've actually bought it at the bins. I didn't know what it was. I just thought that it looked interesting and old and vintage and cool. And so I grabbed it and it turns out it was a pretty good thing. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what this is. And you can see it has some really neat art deco lines to it. You can see here it's camera really isn't picking up the beauty of this piece but this was a piece in a barber shop so it was papers and the papers are still inside here the one that i picked up was in really rough shape and i sold it for over 40 dollars so these are collectible and it's i don't know if i pronounce this wrong it's sanic sanic i think that's how you pronounce it but she had 24 dollars on this but it was half price so I got it for $15 and I can easily sell this on eBay for about $50. So that was a good find. So there is that. And probably my favorite thing other than the piece of furniture that we got is this cute little wooden kitty cat salt and pepper shaker. Um, I paid, I think I paid $3 for this. It was normally six and I paid $3 for it. It isn't, I mean, it is vintage. It does have a plastic stopper instead of a corker but you can't really tell here but it is made in japan and the reason why i got this i mean other than it's a cute little red kitty cat i mean that's the main that's probably the first thing no it isn't the first thing because i was looking for this guy because i already had this guy now they are a little different this guy i already had and he has, it says magnetic because, well, let me get the string out of the way. They are a little magnetic. So it is a set now, kind of. They're not completely matching. This one is marked Anesco. So this one's probably the better of the two. It still has this little dingle, dingle bell. This guy doesn't, but now they are BFFs forever again. And I shall keep them and put them in my 
wooden and salt and pepper shaker collection. So I was really pretty excited about that. There is differences in them. The black one, you can see his eyes are painted on and the red one has googly eyes. So I think that this one was probably older than this one, but I didn't care because they somewhat match and it makes me happy. So they're a little oddball, but that's okay because I like oddball things. So that is all of the things that I bought at the antique mall. But you can see on my footage, there's all kinds of fun things to look for and to look at. And always hit up antique malls. I know that a lot of people say, oh, I'm not gonna go to an antique mall because there's never anything in there priced for resale, but that's not always the case. There are lots of booths that have 20, 25% off, sometimes 50% off. So always go ahead and make sure that you check out your local antique malls and you can find things for resale in there readily. I do all the time. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I will put out content as far as reselling and vintage and antiques and collectibles. Make sure you hit the little bell button and you'll be notified every time I post a video. And that's all for now, guys.